This is chapter 4 forms of ICT class 10th. What we are going to see is what is form tag in HTML. Very important thing. Most of the websites and the web applications, they have form now. They are equipped with form. We will try to find out the attributes and the properties of the form tag and then how to post the details that the user has filled in in the form to the server. We will try to see the different controls that are available to us and when these controls are placed, what exactly they do. And then we will see the attributes of the input element when we are going to create different form objects. So what is a form? When you go to any examination filling form or any other form on the website, they say or in the advertisement they say go to this website, fill the form, submit, place or um, submit the money. What you are going to do, you will add your name, name, age, mobile number, etc, etc, all the information. And then you press a submit button. Then you pay. This information is taken in form. So form is what? It is collecting data from the user. Nowadays, this form you have come across in various options or various day-to-day -day life activity like banking, creating even an email ID. And this form is actually, you can say a container, a container which contains various form elements. These are text fields, text area, drop down box, radio buttons, check box, command buttons, etc. So HTML forms, they are actually used to pass data from us user to the server. We'll see the action, what it does. So the basic syntax of any form would be something like this. Form, form would add. So it has to have an end or terminating tag of form. Then the method has to be predefined. It can be a get, it can be a post. We'll talk about get and post just now. Then the action. What is going to happen when you click the submit button? When the user has filled in and you press a submit, even it can be a feedback or comment or etc. things, you press the button submit, then what happens? And one more thing I would like to highlight here, the input which we are going to talk in detail, this has no terminating tag. There is no forward slash input. Now as we start, because we want to send the data, so this is your browser. This is the point where you write the URL like www.google.com like this. So this is the URL, Uniform Resource Locator. Somewhere you will find it as Universal Resource Locator also. The two methods are get and post. If you use get method, you will find your all the items, the values which you have filled in, in the URL. If you choose post, then the data would go in the form of HTTP post transaction, hypertext transfer protocol post transaction. The difference between get and post is get would append the data which you enter in the URL itself. So you are able to see, you are able to see because if you go to Google and type something, you will be able to see your data in the, in the URL. The length is limited, up to 3000 characters you can fill in. And if you have a sensitive data, as I just said, that your data will be shown here. It is visible to you, so it is visible to everyone around the globe. So if you have a sensitive data, don't use get. But if you want to bookmark the result, what happens? You have a say page, you bookmark it so that you can revisit it later. If you want to bookmark or if you want to allow the user to bookmark 
when you are making a website or a web application, then you can go for get method. But for post method, if the data is sensitive, you use this post because the data will not be shown on your URL, but rather it will go as a HTTP request or body of the HTTP request. It has no size limitation like 3000. And since the data is not visible, it cannot be bookmarked. So the action would be some address, some link. The method could be post or get as we have seen post and get. Now we have some attribute values also of this get and post. As we said, that get default, if you don't, do, go, don't give anything, the get would be default method. So this would append the form data in your URL in the form of name value pairs. Like you give your name, your name will highlight here. You give your mobile number, your mobile number will highlight here in the URL and you will be able to see. How about the post? This will send the form data as HTTP post transaction. How about input tag? This input tag is where your actual data will be taken. It will collect the information from the user. So the name, actually the name is the internal name of the characters which you are going to put in. That will be the internal name that will be used. The size, it will take the value of the number of quotes which is equal to the width of the field. If the This can be your text box, this can be your text box. So this is larger, this is, this is somewhat uh, shorter than this. So this will be decided by the size you give. Then the max length means how many characters a user can enter. Say you have given a width of say this one 50 and you allow user to enter only 20. That's it. That is the max length. The type is of course you can allow text, radio means selections and submission. We'll start with the text box field. This is our text box field. You'll see like this. And how you're going to get this text box, you have to use this input type is equal to text. So you'll be able to see the text box. Now one thing here is you'll be able to write only or input only one line. One line, not more than that. If you want to more add line, we have option for that also. Apart from the text box, like uh, value, size, name, max length, align, tab index, all these are there and they convey the same meaning as we discussed uh, in the previous discussion. Align is how or where you want to align in the form with respect to the form. And tab index is when you press tab at what point or on which tab this text box should be highlighted or the cursor starts blinking here. Let us take an example. We are having two boxes here, two text boxes actually here, whose internal name, F name, first name, and name middle name. So you are giving father's name. Input type you have chosen as text, size you have given 20. So now you will see a text box in front of father's name. You want the mother's name to come on the next line, so you use a BR. And again the mother's name will have a text box of 20 size. So this is what you are going to see, father's name, mother's name. Then you have a text area. This text area, as I said, that if you want to enter or if you want to allow entering more than one line, then you use this text area. So you can enter more than one line, several lines at a time. If you want to allow to send an email or some comment from the user, you will be using this text area. This text area is having a start tag also and a end tag also. So the options available is text area because text area has a, has a size. So the columns means how many characters and the rows, how many lines you would like to enter or allow to enter. Name of course, the same thing, tab index, at what point if somebody is pressing tab, at what point it should come. Wrap means there are three options. Wrapping means if you allow user to enter 
maybe first line can come after this it is going to start the second option you would allow is user is entering and then as soon as the right border comes it should go to the second line and then third is the physical so wrap off virtual and physical are doing the three different thing if you don't want wrapping use wrap off as soon as the uh, line break is there virtual will see and that will be loaded in the web page and the physical defines the format of the text whatever user enters it will be seen exactly like this that will be physical let us take an example form method post so we are using a post and the action is main you want to email now the text area because i said it has to have some because this is a box so you have to have a row and column the row is 5 column is 30 you want wrapping as physical and the name of this text area would be comments then you enter something here means this enter comment here will come and then after that you will be able to enter text area ends the input type has to be there in a form it will be submit and the value would be email yourself that is in submit button you will see this email yourself text this is how the output will be then we have radio buttons so radio buttons does what if you want to choose from number of options only one option only one can be selected so you use input type is equal to radio so this is also called as a toggle button toggle button and the options available are name of course the name of this okay. and uh, you want to group say you want to group these two buttons you have to give the same name to this if you want to group all these four, all four should have the same name. The value, what will be submitted if it is checked or if it is selected, the value will be like this. The alignment of course with respect to the form, top, middle, bottom, right, left, text, top, baseline, apps, middle, apps, bottom. Tab index, at what point the tab, if a user is pressing tab, at what point this, this uh, radio button should come and checked. If you want some any of this tag to be already selected when the user logs in, then you can use checked. This is an example like you are making a form, what type of lighting you have in room. Lighting type is having two radios, so you want to group them, so you give the same name. The value would be tube light and bulb, means the content will be shown like this. Then three other radio buttons having the same name, so they are grouped together. They have different names and they will be shown like this. So the result will be like this. You can choose any of these. You can choose any of these. So you will be choosing any one of these. So today's discussion is like this. Now let us go to the practical aspects what we have learned right now. So that you have a glimpse of what we have learned till now. I have already written the or taken the content from the book and I will try to show how exactly this works. This is forms.html. Let me clear it. This is my forms.html. This is the content from the book. So we'll start with the first discussion what we made. We have talked about the input type is equal to text. We'll give it like this. So input type is text, size is 20, f name. Break will bring it to the next line. We have already seen the result with break. Let us see the result with no break. Let me run it. So run in the browser so this is the result father's name mother name like this so what and why we have used this break just to make sure that the, that the mother's name comes in the second line now let us run it again you will see exactly as your book says you can put more breaks so they come they have some uh, two line differences between them this is how okay next is the text area now what this example shows us as we have discussed that we want to have a post method and there will be an email because we have not configured any email you will see an email coming or um, a box coming it is not going to work right now we are interested in text area text area will have 5 rows and 30 columns it will be physical I will write something and you will see in that 
text area already enter comments here that will be there already then you will have a submit button which will show image yourself let us run it okay this is already coming enter comment here comments here this is 5 by 30 let us write this is my forms learning just remember when my text reaches the right bottom this is my forms learning and i i has come down this is what this physical does right so this is the email let us press it because we have not configured the email has come and you can directly email what content you are choosing after this the next discussion was radio let us choose this content and this content uh, i have changed because if you copy from the book it is not going to work you have to change these codes etc so you want if you want to actually run it and practice you can just pause and have a look let us run okay fine. let me uh, first okay first let me run and then i'll explain so what is happening here is one is lighting type so there are two buttons i'm choosing any of these both cannot be chosen only one can be chosen in the similar fashion lighting size i can choose one of these so as you see here we have the lighting type there are two radio buttons they are of same type so they are grouped together and the name is to light and bulb how about the lighting size this is radio button again three groups three in a group so we are naming it similarly l size and the name would be long medium short so you can choose any of this this is how radio button works so we have seen first part of our discussion of forms we'll be taking next in the next uh, part so thank you so much take care of yourself